I've long been pondering why it is that it seems that some of my hand warmers after I've done some tweaking in terms of adding uh, appropriate amount of catalyst I can bring the temperature up as high as 165 Fahrenheit which by the way does seem to be about the maximum temperature that I can achieve in any of them and I'm wondering if that has something to do with the maximum amount of heat that you can get from any exothermic reaction of this type. Um, if you know more about that maybe you can leave something in the comments below and enlighten all of us for future reference. However back to this so what I did was here I put the three that I can get up to 165 and who also tend to operate more uh, reliably along this top row and so what we have here is the S Boston on the left got what I've nominally named myself the Red Star hand warmer from China and uh, you'll have to look back in our previous series about how I did a modification to this very inexpensive hand warmer and uh, that didn't hardly work at all by basically adding a carbon felt strip to the top of the reservoir taking out the very strange looking uh, catalyst head which is that thing and replacing it with a proper catalyst and uh, lo and behold it started working up to 165 and will last in your pocket for pretty much a full day so that was a real win for me and it was such a good win that I have actually consigned to get um, about 500 of these units manufactured for me because they're really hard now to pick up and I'm going to um, do this mod and, and put them back on the website for people that may want to use them as an alternative to uh, some other brand of hand warmer and then of course this last one here is the Johnny Giant and it is a giant. I quite often sling this around my neck for long days when I'm cross-country skiing, uh, maybe going 10, 20 kilometers for the day, and I plan to be out all day. This guy really does throw off the heat. Then down in the bottom, I have just put in the ones that I can't seem to nudge up much past 135 to 145, and that tend to be unreliable in that they keep going out a lot and I suspect that's because they get cold shocked easily. So more about what my developing theories and observations are in terms of why these guys tend to be more of my favorites and go-tos than these guys and by the way here this is a Zippo and this is the Chinese clone of a Zippo it appears in various forms this one happens to be the butterfly uh, design on the cap but you'll see uh, quite a few of those styles in other designs popping up so now we'll delve into um, some of my theories as to why there's a difference between this group and this group and this is uh, basically a synthesis of my subjective observations and thoughts on these and uh, there are no means uh, proven by science or anything else and uh, if you have other ideas or disagree again be more than happy to hear those ideas in the comments so let's start with uh, the two main differences that I feel exist between these two groups and I pointed this out in our previous video here it's the thickness of the reservoir and indeed between this reservoir and this reservoir you'll note in my previous video of this series that there is um, a difference in the mass between these two in terms of the weight and I postulated that that 
was partly responsible for the reason that the butterfly seems to work better than the Zippo. Now let's go up to some of the ones that I find work better and let's look at it might be hard for you to see but all of these have a fatter reservoir than the ones below. So my theory is is that it takes less effort for the fumes to get up through the reservoir material into the catalyst head and by the way I can't show you the catalyst head that's on the uh, S Boston for obvious reasons because it is mounted integral to the uh, cap. So that is the first one and you'll see here how fat that Johnny Giant is but the next thing um, I think that addresses why they tend to uh, get cold shocked less which results in them going out when they're, you're in your pocket and cold shocking would refer to wrapping your cold hand around the reservoir which decreases the temperature of the liquid fuel inside and then it stops evaporating and then your exothermic reaction comes to a stop as well and you get no more heat. So look at the uh, head and the amount of space that it has to house the catalyst and in order to do a, a better comparison let's just stick this Zippo against that red star and you can probably make out a slight difference in the amount of space I have in order to mount more catalyst and then the amount of space that the fumes have to come up through the neck and uh, again looking on here it would appear to me that this red star gives more space for the fumes to come up through the flue I guess you would call this here on the neck of the reservoir than the Zippo does. So my theory when it comes down to choosing the most suitable hand warmer for your pocket in the liquid fuel variety of course is what I mean here we're not discussing the uh, electronic devices would be the thickness of the reservoir and the size of the catalyst head so that you can get a higher temperatures going and bear in mind of course the more fuel you burn uh, which creates more heat uh, the less operating time you will have but I have found that with uh, a lot of things like the Zippo you end up coming home at the end of the day even after eight hours and you either let it burn out or um, snuff it out and then refill it again anyway before you go out that's why I kind of prefer something like this Red Star which gives me um, hotter temperatures for the full day when I'm out uh, and then it's pretty much done and then so the next time I refill it it's just the same process again I find that more convenient and uh, I do find the form factor of something like this where it's a little bit smaller a little more convenient to carry uh, two or three of those as well during the day for more information on this guy you may want to look back at the video I made on the Red Star hand warmer and uh, I'll put the link here so you can see that and then go to our playlist and have a look at it.